Katrina Gibbs. That's what I put. AJ Team, Blood Type O minus. One Miss 17, Contest 24-6, currently a popular model in holographic advertisements. Dislikes I identifiable by a heart-shaped birthmark on inner thigh. We got it. Nope, what? Quit. Quit. Back we go. <laughs> I, I, I would, I'd be surprised if we're not back here again. To the turbo cycle. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't want to go back here. <laughs> hey, I came back in. Oh, gotta go back outside again. <laughs> Alright. Gibson's house. All right, we gotta go through the entire motions again. Okay, what type of mark do I have on my body? Heart. Do I have to put a heart shaped? Or a birthmark? Let's go with that. Okay. Okay, now the shape. Heart. Inner thigh. Good thing we read all that stuff. How do you spell thigh? <laughs> that isn't. That doesn't look right. No. That looks a little bit better. Alright guys, do I have to put inner thigh? Well, shit. Alright, answer question. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, what was she asking? I might have skipped over it. I may have to like, they may have made, ugh, they may have made me start over. Oh, that's not it. Inner <laughs> thig. <laughs> Okay. What type of mark do I have on my body? Okay, so I have to re go through everything again. So that's what I was messing up. Birthmark. Heart. Not hers. Now inner thigh. Bingo! Alright. Finally continue now. Hello, blue hair. I'm very sorry about all of that. I'm Katrina Gibson, Sean's daughter. I'm... I'm so sorry. What's the matter, Mr. Steed? I'm very sorry, Katrina. It's my fault your father's dead. Gillian. No, if I could have gotten there just a little sooner... Your father might still be alive. Oh, Mr. Seed, I appreciate your feelings, but I was always ready for the worst with my father. Every day as I watched him leave for work, will it be today, tomorrow, I knew it was a dangerous job. Katrina, that's... Well, I'm a Junker's daughter. 
Do you think you'll be all right by yourself? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Besides, I don't think I have any tears left. Katrina, are you sure? Okay, Junker. You've got work to do, right? Keep yourself busy. That's the best way to take your mind off of it. Look at my neck tilt. Okay, Katrina. You're probably right. I'll appreciate any help you can give me on this investigation. All right. Hmm. Abundant natural resources. No wonder she's working as the model. God. Gillian, please restrain yourself. There are antiques everywhere. All these are quite impressive pieces. Our house is full of this stuff. Dad kept buying things long after we were out of places to put them. He has paid a lot of attention to, to the decor and layout of the place. Pretty stupid since there were only the two of us here, huh? None of these items are replicas. They're all genuine antiques. None of this stuff is really valuable. He said it was all used. <laughs> I didn't really talk with my dad lately. He was always so busy investigating stuff, cooped up in that study. Me? I'm just a spoiled brat who never cared about her parents. Okay. Do you know of any places that serve buffalo? We found buffalo in your dad's stomach. Buffalo? We never had that here. Gross. Buffalo? I never eat that. Katrina, I'm sure all of this is quite a shock for you. Don't worry, I'm here for you anytime. You can lean on me. Oh, Gillian's Paris, please. Thank you. You're really a nice man, Gillian. Alright, uh, we should move to the study. Do you mind if I take a look in your study? Go ahead. This is Gibson's study. This is my dad's study. I haven't touched a thing. It's just he, the way he left it before he died. Everything's neat and tidy. Just a little, just like Jean. Wait, there's a personal computer here. You can see the garden from here. A garden? Wow, his own house with a garden and everything. Yeah, but it faces north and it's really quite small. There's a bottle, a photograph, and a chessboard on the shelf. This is the model PC-68 Genesis. These haven't been manufactured for nearly 50 years. My father was always using it. Some junk shop gave it to him for gave it to him and he fixed it up. It's still full. It appears to be new. It's a photo of Jean-Jacques Gibson. It's a chess set. The pieces are very neatly arranged. My dad really liked chess, but he always seemed disappointed because I couldn't play. It has a double locking mechanism. My dad was always really careful. Let's take a computer. He has a five it has a five inch floppy disk drive installed. Five inch, huh? Well then that disk must be for this machine. Let's try to see if we can read it. We'll do that after we take a look and investigate everything. Now analyzing. It's a, sun it's a sunscreen. It's the standard type designated to block ultraviolet rays. There's a sticker on the bottle. This is probably from the place where it was bought. Hmm, it says a store with everything. Plato's Cavern. However, how do you figure on sunscreen? There must have been some meaning here. Is it okay if we take this? Go right ahead. I have stored sunscreen. This picture seems to be a few years old. Jean looks rather young. Katrina, do you mind if I borrow this picture for a few days? No, go right ahead. I have stored Jean's picture. <laughs> Let's go take everything. The Black Queen is missing. I see. The Queen is missing, eh? The design of this set matches that of the piece we found in Jean's coat. That piece I've got I definitely goes to the set. Nope. Don't want to do that. Alright, let's turn this PC-68 on and see if we can read the disc. So the house in that search the house was referring to Gibson's house. And the exclamation point was not an exclamation point at all. It was a symbol for the 5-inch floppy disc. Look closely, the pattern matches the read-write holes on the disc. He even drew a little dot to the represent the index hole. In other words, it meant to put the disc in the PC-68 at his home. No doubt Jean was worried that something might happen to him, and he prepared the disc for just such an emergency. The machine is reading the disc. Here it is. Snatcher investigation file. Why do Snatchers appear in the winter? Why are Snatchers nocturnal? I believe I have found the answer to these questions. Snatchers' vampire-like behavior is due to their desire to avoid exposure to sunlight. The reason they dislike sunlight is because of their defective artificial skin. Long-term exposure to ultraviolet rays causes overproduction of melanocytes in the epidermis of their artificial skin, leading to a form of skin cancer with the characteristics of melanoma. 
In other words, what we call simple sunburn is fatal to them. This relationship between ultraviolet rays and their artificial skin should give us a way to track them down. It should take at least six more months before they can develop a form of skin which overcomes this defect. These conclusions suggest several useful methods for locating and identifying snatchers. One, investigate skin condition. Check for any evidence of melanoma. Two, check for odor. Cancer cells secrete a unique foul odor. Three, the presence of pollen. Snatchers are believed to hide in areas plentiful in Snow 9, a snow-like bioengineered pollen crystal. As such, Snow 9 can always be detected in places they appear. Snow 9 is an allergen, causing throat pain and sneezing. Four, possession of sunscreen. In order to protect their skin from ultraviolet rays, snatchers use sunscreen even in the dead of winter. This is due to sunscreen's ability to block ultraviolet rays. Of these techniques, one in four should prove particularly useful. In addition, besides working to prevent this skin cancer, snatchers maintain facilities for treating artificial skin, which has actually become cancerous. I have succeeded in identifying the hospital where this is performed. P.S. Watch out for a bounty hunter named Random Hajil. So that's it, eh? He found their weak point. And no doubt Jean was killed because they learned he had found their hospital. Uh-oh. What's wrong with Alice? Is there something out there? A snatcher, maybe. Katrina, you stay here. Aw, oh, shit. This is the garden. Good dog. Good girl, Alice. What's the matter? That didn't work. We're gonna save. Before anything crazy happens. Nope. 